Okay, so now we're going to look at getting the user to input some information uh, rather than simply printing that out on the screen. And to do this, I'm going to work in this window here that says Untitled. So if you don't know how to get this window up, when we open our Python shell, if you go to File, New File, uh, I'm going to hit that now, and it'll bring up this window. Okay, That's exactly the same as this window I've got open here. And this is allow us to type our code without running it every time we type a new line. Uh, and it also allows us to save it as a file, so we can come back to it later or we can save it as a file to be used as a program once we finish our coding. So what we're going to look at in this video is getting user input. So I'm going to set up a simple question. It's going to ask the user to enter some information and then I'm going to print that information back out to them on the screen. So it's going to be using things we've done before. So we all are very familiar with our print function. So I'm going to say hello what is your name? Question. Close our brackets and hit enter again. Nothing happens. We don't want anything to happen at this point. And we're going to say we want to store this person's name. So to store this person's name we can use a variable. And as we did before we can create a variable called name. And we're going to equal this to input open close brackets so what this line is going to do is it's going to create a variable and then in this window when we run it it's going to wait for the user to type something in so whatever's typed in is going to get put into our variable name so then what we can do is we can then say print welcome name close the brackets so as we said before we've typed welcome that's what we want to appear on the screen so we type it as a string with using our speech marks and I'm going to add to the string the person's name so now to run this we can go file we can go to sorry run and run module or we can press SF5 and if we haven't saved it it's going to ask us to save it so we click OK and here I'm just going to call it name so our Python project uh, our Python file is just going to be called name and once we hit save it's going to pop up open a new window so I wouldn't worry about that but it's going to run our code so here we can see it's printed out our first line hello what is your name and here it's waiting it's waiting for the user to type something in so if I was to type a name in so Michael hit enter and as soon as we hit enter what we've typed here gets stored inside of name then it moves on to the next line which is print we've told it to print the text welcome and then whatever's stored inside of name when the user's typed it in and here you can see it's printed exactly as we typed in and it's printed welcome Michael so this is how we gain user input okay there is something else we could do slightly different and this will uh, have more an effect when we start to type more lines of code so as you can see here it's only three lines long if our program ended up at being 200, 300, 3000 lines long we want to start adding in ways we can make it more efficient and the way we can do that is by combining lines together so here we can see we have three lines we can reduce this down to two which isn't a great deal of lines reduced but if we're working at 3000 lines of code and we can do this for the majority of our code we could halve our code down by combining lines together so how to do that so we've got print hello so I'm just going to copy what text we've actually told it to print so I've copied that I can delete it out and where we have our function input here if I delete these brackets and I open a bracket it comes up with a little bit of a help so you can see here it says input open bracket and then in square brackets it says prompt so we can prompt the user um, for some information so we can say in here we can ask a question so just as I did before hello what is your name close the brackets so now when we run it it's going to print exactly the same and I'm just going to add a little space here and you'll see why in a second so I've just added a space between the question mark and the speech mark again we're going to have to go to file and save it and then we can go run so when we run it this time it's printed hello what is your name and on the same line it's going to ask us to type something so I'm going to type Michael again and hit enter it says welcome Michael 
so as you can see we get the same effect it still works exactly the same it says Michael is our name we're entering and we're printing it later on however we've only managed to use two lines of code okay so we've reduced our code by a third which in turn makes our program a lot more efficient this is something that when we get into pro uh, coding programs and we start to use more lines of code this is our higher level of programming ability if we can find ways to make it more efficient reduce the amount of code needed which will increase our performance of our program this shows that we have a greater and higher understanding of our programming and the code that we're writing.